In tonight's Where's the Money, a warning about old debt. It's called zombie debt because it can come back to haunt you. But is it real and do you really owe that money? Consumer investigative reporter Bill McGinty spoke to the experts to find out your rights. Okay, Tom, so today we're talking about zombie debt. I'm, I'm curious, it's October, so I get the zombie reference, but there's, there's gotta be a deeper meaning to this. It's interesting how this works that, so say you had a, a debt 20 years ago, and so the law says, okay, that's, that's gone. Even if you still owe it, it's gone. Uh, well, the company that originally had that debt with you uh, sold it and sold it to another collection agency. Mm -hmm. And so you might get a call or a letter or something out of the blue demanding that you pay on this debt that you owe. Yeah, in some cases you're like, yeah, I don't remember this or right. I kind of remember that, but I thought I had it paid off because they're, they're gonna call you whether it was paid off or not. If they have a record that you ever had a loan with this you know, payday loan or, or what have you, they're going to make it seem like you still owe this debt. I'm thinking about gym memberships. Gym memberships are one of those things that seemed like a great idea at the time, 20 years ago. And then either you don't go or you realize you can't afford it, you're not going to go and you try to get out of it. And you can't, so you just quit paying. This is the kind of debt that eventually comes back around. Exactly. What people don't realize when they get that kind of call, they go, well, you yeah, but I thought I had it paid off. Well, yeah, and then they'll hit you. Well, do you have any proof? Because we've got proof that it wasn't paid. And so you may have paid it, you may not have paid it, but they're demanding uh, that you do this. Otherwise, they're going to garnish your wages. They're going to seize your bank accounts, really put some fear into you. Uh, and all you have to do as a consumer in this situation is say, prove it, prove it. Send me something in writing to prove that I still owe this debt. That will stop them in their tracks. It's the law. They have to do that. If they don't, you don't have to mess with them. Yeah, it's just the idea of, of your credit being messed with and that all the pressure that they're going to put on you. And, and maybe now you're in a better position to, to, to pay that $140. So you're just going to write a check and they probably make a lot of money doing this. They do. They do yeah. because they've got, <laughs> they've got nothing else. They have no expenses going to this. They're making phone calls, dialing for dollars, basically. Yeah. All right, Tom Bartholomew with the Charlotte Bitter Business Bureau. Good information. Thanks. Sure thing. Well, that sounds shady, doesn't it?